Hi, it's Maria from Kinder Crave, and in my last tutorial I showed you how to disable word verification, and basically all that that means is turning off this feature that is a default setting on your blog so that so when someone wants to leave a comment, they can go ahead and leave a comment quickly and easily without having to type in this message. Like I said, this is a default setting on your blog, so if you don't know about it already and you're just learning about this now, chances are it's currently turned on. Um, once you turn it off, though, you will this won't pop up anymore and you will have many happier visitors and commenters on your blog. The one side effect that comes from turning off word verification is you do get a little bit of spam that occasionally filters in as comments. Um, it's not too bad. Blogger has some pretty good filters up already. I get only a couple of spam comments a week. They're very easy to handle and what I want to do, want to do with you today is show you where to find your spam comments, how to check for spam comments, and then what to do with them once they're there. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to your admin side of your blog and you want to go down to where it says comments. And this section here, like the sort of default setting, is to show you the good comments that have already been published. Good comments are all, um, are all set to automatically publish, most likely. But there is a separate setting, and Blogger recommends that you check this from time to time, that, or a separate mailbox, I should say, for spam. So if you see under comments, the uh, the word published is orange right now. That's that's because I'm looking at the published ones right now. I want to see my spam comments to see if there's anything in there. So I click on spam and I have one comment that is spam. Um, I received I I get email verifications every time or notifications every time someone comments on my blog. So I saw this email yesterday and I. I knew right away it was spam, but I wasn't worried because I knew it wouldn't be published yet. Um, if it's suspected spam, it is not published, which is why it's important to check this out from time to time. Every once in a while, a good comment squeaks by as suspected spam, even though it's, it's not. So I check this from time to time. Um, you can tell that it is a spam comment, usually because it's a little bit more generic. Um, it'll say like, oh, this is a really great blog. It almost sounds robot-y, their voice and their language. Um, another way to tell is teachers love leaving gushy comments. They're pretty much loaded with exclamation marks, and they have a lot of praise in them in general, not every time. But um, you can hear the voice of the teacher coming through the comment. If it does not sound like a teacher's voice, especially if you're an elementary teacher and we really love our exclamation marks and gushing. Um, that's a big suspicion that it might be spam. Another thing is um, people tend to leave a link at the bottom of their comments so that you'll visit their site. And about 99% of the time, the good comments are from other teachers who have teacher-related blogs and websites. This one is definitely um, suspicious to me because they're saying, have you ever thought about including just a little bit more pop than just your articles? Um, it's borderline insulting, and it tells me to add graphics or videos. And if they visit my blog at all, as a real person, they would know that I include a lot of photos and videos. So um, I did not, this automatically kind of sent a red light off in my head thinking, I don't think this is valid. Um, the other thing is, they say, have a look at my blog, just like everyone else does. But it's not a teaching site that they're sending me to. It's Tatiana from HGTV Canada. Um, if it's not a teacher or someone who has a site that's at least kind of related to what you were posting about, it's probably not valid. Um, so that's fine. Once you figure it out, it's not a big deal. All that you do is click the box. And you have two choices, not spam or delete. If you checked, if you saw that this, this probably is from a teacher and is a valid, genuine comment, if it is not spam, just click not spam and it's going to dump it where it belongs and it'll publish on your site and this will be moved to your published folder. But if it's 
spam, which almost all of your things that land in this area will be spam. Just check the box and hit delete. Takes a second. Um, now my spam folder is empty and that is gone. I never have to see that comment again. So um, I still strongly recommend that you disable word verification. It makes your readers and especially your commenters very happy if they don't have to waste their time trying to decode letters that don't look like anything. Um, so far the consequences for me of disabling that have not been too bad. Like I said, I get a few spam comments from time to time, but not enough to overwhelm me or overwhelm my blog or cause any real inconvenience. Thank you so much for visiting and learning with me once again today. I'm Maria from Kinder Craze and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.